Hey guys, this is a uh, Black Woman Seven here, and today I'll be discussing our week. Um, I want to say five battle, like uh, in the case of BO, as we are facing off against uh, Kevin or the Kevengers, are formerly known as the uh, the LA uh, Angler. So, uh, for those of you who don't know, uh, Kevin or Kevin VGC is uh, um. The uh, owner of the CIL and our finals opponent from the last uh, little battles ago. So, this is basically a rematch as we are both actually for our own or in this league have the best records. And this is pretty much a showdown between uh, two of the best teams in, in the regular season. So, it'll be very, very interesting to see how this game goes on. So, now, but knowing like. Um, saying that, first of all, this means very likely I like oh, I may have to battle Kevin again in the playoffs. So, um, that was a turn. I really wanted to prepare for this game, but to be honest, I didn't want to go too hard into it because, like, I knew this game could just like I didn't want to reveal my best sets. So that's what I'm saying. So. Um, I'll talk about the sets I brought, but like, um, so hopefully, like, you guys like know what I brought, and also, like, that I'm not intending to reveal my best sets until like that game. Well, then again, it's chances are likely he might lose in love to his opponent to in round one, but like in playoffs. But, um, but there's a good chance I might face I face him. So yeah. Um. So first off, uh, he had a Landorus. Milotic, Rosary, Clefable, Mesprit, and Scrafty, so he also had threats such as Noivern, uh, Dutchclops, uh, Rotom Fan, uh, Mega Camera, and the Scizor. And to be honest, I kind of expected Scizor over Mesprit. Like, I, I expected this exact team except for Mesprit. Um, because I felt that Mesprit wasn't doing enough for this game for him. I don't know, maybe he wanted some kind of like uh, switch into uh, Lottie. But speaking of that, um, speaking of my team, I have uh, offensive Lottie out for the first time this season. Uh, it still has CM, but then again, if I if I have the opportunity to use CM, and if he gives me that opportunity, then like I could probably just sweep him. Yes, I know that's very likely a an aware Cafebo right there, but you know. Never say never. <laughs> um, I have uh, Surf this time because uh, I had a little bit of four moves out syndrome. Uh, because obviously I wanted to hit Landorus, I wanted to hit uh, Scizor and make a camera up, obviously. And obviously, like, Latias is my best counter to it. Camel. So, um, not to mention that, like, just hits very hard. Because people forget that Latias still has a base uh, 140 uh, special attack, so it's gonna hit things very hard. I do have a utility heatran this time with rocks, uh, baba plume, haunt, and uh, box. Just so, just so that I could like wear down Clefable, Mesprit, his walls, like Milotic, and even the Scrafty if it's defensive. So, like, yeah, um, I did have enough speed to outpace uh, Milo just for that. So anything else, it would probably be like, you know, I could outspeed it. So. Uh, but not like, but like it's just enough for that, that and just to take a, like maybe like a, a strong special like ground move like HP ground from Rose Ray. So then I have a uh, Manaphy, which is a uh, Elk Glow, uh, Scald, Ice Beam, uh, Dub, and uh... Uh, yeah, I think that's it. Scald, Ice Beam, Toglo, and Sub. So I had a Sub because I felt that. Um, I needed to have an option to prevent myself from getting poisoned, and the fact that, like, uh, if he brought Dustclops, like, I didn't have that many answers to it, aside poisoning it with Heatran. So maybe, like, I have, like, Manaphy that could be, like, very definitive set that I could just set up on it, so. I brought Floor just this week, again, pretty much standard Cleric set, mainly for the Noivern he didn't bring, but yeah. Um, we did bring Scarf uh, Crocodile because with Moxie, because. If I could get the dice rolling with Moxie Crook, then yeah. 
could sweep him, but like, but that that depends on that option. So, like, he has a lot of defensive threats like Clefable, Mesprit, Ma like Crafty, Landorus, and Milo. So maybe not. So I just wanted something to. Oh yeah, I forgot. Um, to mention this. The reason why I didn't bring Intimidate because I really wanted to bring Intimidate Crocodile, but I didn't because of uh, one Milo Tick as that one ability that I always see it um, competitive. And I didn't want to trigger that. And I don't want to tr trigger competitive Milotic. And I know he can use that via Defog and uh, Intimidate, so yeah, I didn't want to do that. So. And lastly, our new member is Fufalon, so it's here mainly just to hit everything hard. And just, it, surprisingly, with Choice Ban, Reckless, Edge Charge actually two shots his entire team for uh, Dust Clocks, which is amazing for me because. If I could get rid of, like, something, let's say, like, a CM, like, Unaware, Cafable, or, like, Milotic, or Flanders T, even, like, that opens the door for, like, let's say, Manaphy, Heatran, Latias. So, yeah. Um, well, let's just get right into it. So, for, in terms of leads, um, I figured my best lead would be Latias, because then, like, because it has a good magic against Roserade, Landorus, and, uh, to a small degree, like, Milo. While, like, and even, like, Mesprit, so, I know that Scrafty could be your lead, so, oh, yeah, pay attention to nicknames, so, um, he goes into Love of Hovercat as he gets the Intimidate off, I'm a special attacker, so, he goes for the U-turn, already I know he's Scarf, so this is a good lead, nonetheless, even though he gets damage off, and I get a good Surf on the like, Fable, and I could already tell that this thing is, uh, probably Fizz Death, or, like, it definitely doesn't have special defense investment, so. Um, so, and he is leftovers, so yeah. Obviously, this is a Clefable, so I don't want to stay in on it. Here I decided to go to Country Roads, the Heatran. He goes for Wish, so already just confirms my suspicion that he is, uh, unaware of Clefable, so. Um, but this is a good time for me to get up my rocks, so. Here I go into, uh, just until my loaded, because I go into rocks. And I go for Toxic here, as he goes for Sub, so. It's just... Okay, I'm gonna talk about. I know this, we're talking about the game, but let's just appreciate, guys. Let's just appreciate how how good an early game we had. Just the first few turns, we scouted Scarf Landorus. We pretty much knew that that thing, the Fable, is like unaware, and we just poisoned a Milote in a substitute. I don't know how well the first few turns I could have gone. So that was probably the best few turns I've had in a long time, so that's the best early game I had in a while, so. But yeah. And I didn't even lose HP on Heatran, so. And now I switch to Manaphy, he goes for Dragon Tail, and and I'm like, what the hell? And based off his reaction, I'm like already knowing that this is a heat set, so. But I still don't want, like, I know I could stay in with Buffalon, but to be honest, it'd be stupid because I could risk the burn, so. And he's behind the sun anyway, so I'd rather risk it on Manaphy than uh, anything. Then he goes for Coil, for some reason. And I'm already like, okay, what the hell is this? Yeah, Sub, Coil. Sub, Coil, Dragon Tail, and. Sub, Coil, Dragon Tail, and. Recover? Or Water Move? Because, at this point I know he does not have either Recover or like, a Water Move like Skull. Sub Coil, Recover. Okay, it's like, okay, Sub Coil, Dragon Tail, and something else. So, um, so I don't want this to be anything weird, so I just go for Sub, play it safe. That way, like, he, I know he's not going to break myself. So. Um, here I decide, you know what, I might as well just go for Tail Glow, despite him having, uh, DM, uh, not CM, but like, uh, Unaware of Fable, so. <laughs> Excuse me. Um, here I go, I go for Substitute, because I don't want him to, like, like, switch out, switch out or whatever, so, or force me out, so. Then again, I could have got that, but. He goes like Fable, he takes Rock's damage, and I know he's Scarf, or, or not Scarf, but like, he is, uh, Unaware, so. I do go for Surf, despite me being, uh, boosted. Mostly because I wanted to see the damage on this thing, how much I'm doing, and it's still not enough, so I'm like, yeah. Probably a good idea to switch out. And 
I here's the play where I kind of like I kind of regret a little bit, but like I should have stayed in with Manaphy just to see what he was. But instead, I just go hard into Buffalon, thinking he might just go for the protect. But I get created with Buffalon. I'm thinking to myself, okay, he might not have protect, or maybe no wait, he, I think he does. So, so did he reveal it? Nope, not yet, but. So, he does reveal the Protect here as he's able to scout out my uh, item. And then he knows now that I have Reckless Head Charge. Well, not the Reckless, maybe. And I go for a Reckless here, and it does so much damage. It does so much damage. Like, he lost 83% right there. And he has to. Like, this is a losing battle for him. Like, like even if he went for the attack, like, he would have just been screwed. Because Latias would just pick him off. So. He goes to Landorus here. I think he could take a hit. But, boom! He got taken home. By the Buffon. So. Getting rid of Landorus here was huge. Despite me kind of almost losing Buffon here. But, yeah. This was huge because now, no more Scarf Landorus to deal with. And, the, the way is set for Heatran. So, we're gonna go back to Dark Country Road. So, um... Um, so basically now we're figuring out okay how the hell do we could we could screw this game over so <laughs> um here I, I actually thought long and hard about this one and I thought about preserving Buffalant for that nuke for that nuke for Cafable in case Cafable becomes a threat but then I realized you know what if Roserick does something stupid I might as well just get rid of Roserick now so like let's say it goes for spot toxic spikes like, so I just went for, like, I just went for the attack. Here, I don't know why, but I I did anticipate him to switch out, so I go for the recover, or the roost. Um, he does get some damage on, or recovery here. And this is probably the most important turn of the game. One of the most important turns of the game. Here I switch out to Heatran as he doubles into Scrafty. And at this moment, you know those moments where, like, you, you, the guy says, and at this moment, he knew he fucked up. But a Morgan McFreeman, McFreeman, and always whatever. <laughs> yeah, this is one of those moments. Like, I realized. Wait a minute, this is set up Scrafty, isn't it? And then now, and my Heatran's right in front of this thing, and I don't know what to do because. Heatran is my best answer for Clefable. And. And Roserade. Well, not Roserade, but like. Well, yeah. Heatran's my best answer for Clefable. And the thing is. I don't have enough speed to outpace this, uh. This Heatran. Like, I only have enough to outpace Milotic. You have speed creep, but not enough to outspeed, let's say, Jolly. A scrafty and I'm just like oh god no <laughs> so there is no way I can prevent him from setting up a dragon dance there is no way I can set up prevent him from setting up dragon dance so at this point I realized okay he's gonna get up a dragon dance for sure and unless like like I could toxic him I could in theory toxic him but then I have to play around the switch whole, whole mind games of like okay switching around and shit so and, to be honest, I didn't want to do that, because one, obviously I don't have Intimidate and Crocodile, and two, we can just play around that, just Dragon Dance some more, so, and just win the game right there. So, basically, I'm pretty much forced to do two things. Basically, I have to concede in switching out the Forges, as you'll know this, that I do switch out to uh, Forges, and he goes for Dragon Dance here, so, correctly like knowing this so and pretty much the thing is I have to bank on him one or just several things one having uh how do I say it poison jab and not a Z variant two having iron head and not flinching me and not having roselli berry three and basically roselli just roselli berry because then again, I could just weaken him severely, so... Um... Three... Basically, him being Choppleberry, in which... 
like, he cannot, like, he has to flinch me. Otherwise, the game, like, otherwise, like, the game is, like, in my favor, so. Basically, I'm pretty much scouting for the item. Because he can't kill Forges at full. Unless he has a Z move. Like, I'm scouting for the item, and I know that... I need to know what what set it is, so... And I already know that I brought this upon myself, so yeah. Um, here, he does reveal the Z-move, and it is Steelium Z, so... It knocks out Florges through. And I and he also reveals he's Moxie, so now I'm like, oh crap. Because at this point I figured, oh crap, there's no way I can win. Because Crafty just got it at the right time to set up. And I didn't have the right- I did not have, like, uh... I did have Taunt on Heatran, but just that I know that I'm not fast enough to outspeed, uh, like, let's say, a Jolly Scrap. So, I can't risk that, because... It'd be Jolly, because that means he just gets a free Dragon Dance, and just, you know... Waltzes around my entire team, so... And, yeah. Um, Scrafty is just a... Very huge threat, so... Now I have to go into Manaphy. I did thought, I did think about going to Crocodile because I do have super power, but it's not going to kill. So, the reason why I go to Manaphy is just to weaken him a bit. And also to bluff that I have, let's say, Dazzling Gleam. Hopefully to scare him away. Because if I, if he, like, reads into this, he could just go for Dragon Dance again. However, and I don't have Scald, and I, and I really wish I had Scald now, but then again, I didn't want it because I didn't want it to conflict with the Clefable. Because Clefable could be easily, like, it could have been easily, let's say, uh, uh, would rather be a Toxic, well, not Toxic, but like, uh, like, Burnt than a Toxic, but yeah. Um, so yeah, at this point, it's pretty much in his favor to, like, whether he wants to set up or what he want, whether he wants to attack me. And I'm just hoping he attacks me, thinking that, like, with a different move, different, like, like, putting him, like, around, let's say, below 79%. So, he goes for a Drain Punch, he's gonna get a lot of recovery, makes the best play possible. He goes for, I go for Surf, and obviously it's not gonna do him enough damage. And he goes for Green Punch, he goes for at 85, so. Now, the moment of truth. And, it turns out that this is a roll. And... As well as the one with the lander, as well. I'll talk about that later. But um, this is a very sickly the game right here because now it comes down to whether or not like I can kill Scrafty. Obviously, he doesn't have Chobbleberry, so he could have swapped out here and set up again later. But I figured this is my best chance to kill, and this is his best chance to win the game. So, so I decided, you know what? I'm gonna go for super power, and I obviously outspeed. I knock out the Scrafty, and thus, I practically win the game, so, um, at this point, the rest of the battle is basically Heatran and Latias just doing their thing, so I'm just gonna talk over, so, um, you're gonna see me just toxic and taunt stuff, and me miss a lot of toxics, and get, like, you're gonna see how much hacks I get, <laughs> like, and how much it doesn't matter, so, um, overall, this game was really, really interesting, because, like, um, okay, let me just pause here. I do scout here for the uh, HP ground, so... I, I I didn't want him to, like, uh, kill my Heatran there, so... He stays in with the Rose Raid, I don't know why, but maybe because he knows that if he were to switch out, then he probably would have get two-shotted with the... the Fable, but yeah. At this point, it's Heatran. Heatran can easily, like, wall these two. And he does reveal the Calm Mind, finally. And now I can just spam Toxic all I want. If I could hit land win, so yeah. And you're gonna see, he's gonna get a Moonblast drop, I'm gonna miss Toxic, he's gonna get a Moonblast drop. And <laughs> it's kind of funny, he could have just won like this. But yeah, and dumb. So I finally landed the Toxic, so basically at this point with the Taunt, I, I, I know I could win this game, so. Uh, so basically, this game really came down to two rolls. One was against the Buffalon for Landorus, which. He had a 43% chance to live, or not a 43% chance to live. Like I had a 43% chance to kill him, or like around a 45% chance with the with, with the crit factor. So I had a good chance to kill him, nonetheless. Even though it wasn't it wasn't in my favor, but still. 
like. And I, I could have just like preserved Buffalon later for the game, but like for this situation, but obviously he set up Fox, so it's oh, just like. The only thing it could have been useful for was the sack, but. and differential, but. Yeah. As you see, I just click him Psy Shock. And Mesprit's as good as dead, so. Like, he played. Like, Kevin really prepped well for this game because he just had, like, the the right movesets and the right sets, and I just did not have, like, the, the best option available. Like, like, the early game was really fantastic for me. Probably the best early game I had in a long time. The only thing was that, like, uh, the, once he got, he was able to get into Scrafty for free, basically, which I pretty much let him, like, there was just nothing I could do. And, and the thing is, it's just not like, it's not like Scrafty would be, like, a problem for me. It, it, it was definitely a problem. And it's just that I didn't, ex I did not ex anticipate him to be, like, a, a DD, like, Scrafty be that problematic, especially... I didn't expect him to be, like, DD plus, uh, Z-move. Like, I thought he would be some item choice, like, say, like, a, uh, like, something like a Roselli or a Choppleberry. So, and I... And the fact that I was especially defensive floor just, didn't really help, so I could take a hit from Scrafty, but it's not like it's gonna take, like it's it's not like it's gonna enjoy it as well. So, um, point is that I could have like easily like clean like clean this game up from here and from the beginning to the end. It's just that there were some things from my prep that just really just made it to where like he had the chance. And for those wondering, oh, you should have like risked the. The taunt onto Scrafty and see if he's faster. No, I shouldn't because the thing is, I I had to do that because if he was faster, which I know he's faster now because he told me to spread, but like, um, like if he was faster with Scrafty, then like there's no way in hell I, I then there's no way in hell like he does not click let's say dra Dream Punch onto. Uh, Heatran, and of course the whole, like, uh, the, uh, whether or not he, oh yeah, fun fact, I did have a flame body, <laughs> so that could have been a factor, but like, yeah, um, that could have also helped save my ass, but the thing is, like, there's no way I could prevent setup, that's what I'm saying, like, I don't have Roar, and I don't know if he's, like, Shed Skin as well, so it's like, there's no way I could prevent him from setting up, like, I don't know if he has Lumber, I don't know if he has, like, Wisp, there's just nothing I could have done. Like, Taunt was the only other option. And even then, it wasn't guaranteed because, like, it was a fast Scrafty, and I know that my heat turn spread is slow, is slower than, like, let's say, Jolly, so. And that just pretty much made the game, like, like, okay. Like, sort of like a guessing game. Like, what item was he? Like, whether he was Choppel, whether he was Z-Move. And of course, we know now he was Z-Iron Head, so. Um, the thing is, like, it did help scout out, like, what item he was, so that way, once I had Crookedah, I, I had no worries about, okay, I can steal a power for free, so knowing that he has no trouble there, so yeah. But overall, like, from beginning, from the beginning and the end, like, we just had a manager of chips. And we just came out on top, so yeah. Um, I know for sure Kevin is pretty much hiding some secret in his, like, somewhere in his file, and showdown he's hiding like sort of how he's gonna win the game for like next time we play again so <laughs> that's if we get lo like locked up again so again good game to kevin bgc or, he played a very very good game i think like i he also has like a uh the video of his side on his youtube, YouTube channel which i will link in the description so and pre and also like go subscribe to kevin he is a very very good team builder like, not the fact that, like, we team build together at times, but, like, he just knows a lot about Pokemon in general, like, competitively speaking. He's been playing, like, competitive from, like, Gen 4, so, yeah. Or since Gen 4, so, yeah. Um, he played a very, fairly good game, and it just, it just so happened it came down to a roll. Which, yes, it was in my favor, but then when you factor in the Buffalon one, I think it would, it, the game was a little, somewhat more closer. And, yeah. So, there are some adjustments I think I could make for next game, but 
yeah, that's that's next time. So. Um, thank you, thank you guys for watching, and I hope you enjoyed this video. Uh, leave us, uh, be sure to uh, watch uh, Kevin's side of the of the video, and uh, and hopefully like maybe sub to him. So, yeah. um, see ya and have a good day.